Entry Condition Compliance Procedure, or ECCP, is a controlled document that outlines the legal requirements a business must follow to meet specific interstate and intrastate entry conditions or movement controls for plants and plant products. This video looks at what ECCPs are and how they are used in the audit management system when generating a Biosecure HACCP Biosecurity Certificate, or BHBC. For a business to certify through a BHBC their compliance under an ECCP, the business must first be audited by NGIA against the ECCP criteria and approved by NGIA through the audit management system. An ECCP describes the pest specific entry conditions and control procedures for both the receiving and dispatching jurisdictions. Dispatch and entry conditions for a pest may be different for each jurisdiction and a separate ECCP will be required for each controlled pest to meet all compliance procedures. The front page of an ECCP will indicate the pest name, ECCP number and the jurisdictions that require ECCP certification. The approved versions of ECCPs are stored within the audit management system. An ECCP is divided into several sections. The first section, Document Management, identifies the document's version and the people involved in developing the ECCP. The second section, or scope, outlines the purpose of the ECCP. It identifies the pest and jurisdictions the ECCP has been approved for. The third section, Definitions and Acronyms, provide the definition of any acronym or abbreviation used within the document. The next section, Pest Information and Compliance Procedures, is separated into six subsections. The first three provide the common and biological names of the pest and a description of the biology and ecology of the pest, including photos. For other identification photos, visit the Pest ID tool website at www.pestid.com.au. The next section provides a list of host plants or material that the pest is known to affect or inhabit and the symptoms or damage the pest causes to the host plants. The last subsection, Biosecure HACCP Entry Conditions Compliance Procedure, outlines the actual compliance procedures that must be met for a consignment covered by this ECCP. Note. The compliance procedures can be different for each pest and jurisdiction. If you do not meet any conditions listed here, you cannot ship a consignment to the jurisdictions identified on the front page of the ECCP. Once all ECCP compliance procedures have been met, a BHBC can be generated within the audit management system for the consignment. All ECCPs used to certify the consignment must be recorded on the BHBC when listing the plants. All packages in the consignment must be clearly marked with the ECCP code number and the date code before shipping. If the host plants are consigned loose in pots and not in packages, the ECCP code and date code must be written on a tag or label securely attached to each host plant or the plants are sealed in a vehicle or container for shipping. If a pest is detected, the consignment must be rejected and cannot be certified under the ECCP. The nominated Biosecure HACCP certification controller must be advised immediately and the appropriate corrective action must be taken as outlined in the section titled detecting pests and non-conforming consignments. In this section you will also find a list of authorised persons who can generate a BHBC using the ECCP. 
and the training requirements each person must complete. Online training for ECCPs can be found at the Nursery Production Farm Management Systems website at www.nurseryproductionfms.com.au Click on eLearning and sign up for an account. Once logged in, you can browse the available courses. There is a quick introduction to NGIA eLearning that will explain how to navigate and use the eLearning website. Or choose ECCP Training from the course catalogue on the right hand side and select which ECCP training you need to complete. The final section of an ECCP provides an audit checklist for certified businesses to conduct internal audits for compliance. It is the business's responsibility to ensure compliance to all quarantine requirements for both inter- and intrastate plant movements. More information can be found in the Biosecurity HACCP guidelines available at the Nursery Production Farm Management System or FMS website. This video has been produced by the Nursery and Garden Industry Australia in association with Plant Health Australia for more information, contact your local state or territory association or NGIA.